The involvement in the College of Southern Idaho in the refugee resettlement field began in 1980 under Marvin Glasscock. The program started with a federal grant to teach English, home economics, and related skills under Lee Swedberg, primarily to Laotian families in Buell and Twin Falls. The name of the program changed several times during the years, being called at various times the Indochina Refugee Resettlement Program, the Czechoslovakian Resettlement Fund, and the CSI Refugee Resettlement Program until the most recent name, College of Southern Idaho Refugee Programs, was adopted in 2004. Management of the program changed in mid-1993 when Ron Black, CSI Incubator Manager, was appointed as Director of the Refugee Program. CSI Refugee Programs is the only provider of refugee-specific services for South Central Idaho. The United Nations defines a refugee as someone who has fled his or her country because of a well-founded fear of persecution for reasons of race, religion, nationality, social group, or political opinion. A refugee has to have fled their home country and been granted asylum in a second country. From there, they apply for refugee designation by the United Nations. Upon being designated a refugee, the individual can make application to a number of countries around the world which accept refugees. An individual making application to enter the United States must go through a series of background checks, security clearances, and health checks before being accepted for admission. After passing these checks, the admission form is forwarded to a distribution process attended by 10 national resettlement agencies and the administering governmental body. Each of those 10 national resettlement agencies have local resettlement agency offices scattered throughout the different states. There are four such local agencies in Idaho. Three are local national offices in Boise, World Relief, IRC, and EMM, and the fourth in Twin Falls is an affiliate of the United States Committee for Refugees and Immigrants. Refugees destined for Twin Falls, Idaho, arrive by plane and are met at the airport by a refugee resettlement coordinator and translator speaking the language of the arriving individuals or a family member who arrived earlier. From the airport, the families are taken to an apartment that has been rented and simply furnished. Culturally appropriate food for three days is stocked in the refrigerator and cabinets. If the arriving family is in need of clothing or shoes, they are brought to the refugee center to pick up items before being taken to their apartment. The family is allowed to make a short call back to where they have come from to let friends or family know that they have arrived safely in Twin Falls. They are then given their first pocket money check and taken to the College of Southern Idaho business office to cash the check before being taken back home. Refugees arriving in the United States, and in particular Twin Falls, are eligible for federally prescribed benefits. While some benefit levels after arrival vary from state to state and resettlement program to program, many are standard. The family is eligible for a medical card for the first eight months in the U.S., with some extensions possible for families with children. Each family is eligible for food stamps based on their income. As they become employed, those benefits are reduced or terminated according to the same standards as any other American in that state. Then qualifying individuals are enrolled in one of two possible cash assistance programs, which will last up to eight months depending upon income levels. The social services program serves as the community connection to assure that basic health and social services are addressed with the incoming refugee families. An orientation is held with the refugee family soon after arrival to discuss such issues as the American health care system and how it is accessed and funded, cultural adjustment, expectation versus reality, safety issues, community programs access, enrollment in social security, and being a responsible community member by obeying the laws, driver's license, spousal or child abuse, shoplifting. 
information for enrolling children in school and the current educational status of all family members is determined at that time. Arrangements for the arrival of health screening are also discussed. The program arranges the appointments, schedules interpreters, and transportation for the family to complete the exam at the South Central District Health Department. Every employable person between the ages of 18 and 65 is required to attend and participate in job preparation and job search activities. Employment preparation classes cover a wide range of material on what to expect in getting a job and employer expectations. Subjects covered are types of shifts and working environments, types of employment, part-time versus full-time, and shifts, applications, interviews, paychecks, and withholding issues. A successful job placement requires the hard work of a refugee and the employment team. The employable refugee member must participate in job search, cooperate with the employment team, follow established guidelines, and strive to acquire English in a short period of time. English Language Acquisition During our ESL training, students learn English using the Rosetta Stone program, Oxford Picture Dictionary in our computer lab, work one-on-one -on -one and in groups with ESL teachers, and practice daily English with volunteers. Under the ESL program, the student is picked up four days a week and brought to a refugee center to participate in two hours of English language training. Attendance is mandatory for all those required to search for a job or receive cash assistance. Information is also posted and discussed in class about the evening opportunities at the CSI Adult Basic Education English Language classes on campus. As part of the comprehensive program offerings, CSI Refugee Programs coordinates a program for elderly refugees. The Seniors Program is for non-citizen refugees 60 years of age and older. Our senior companions are older refugees, assisting mostly other older refugees by transporting clients to medical appointments, trips to the grocery store, for respite care, or simply visiting to alleviate isolation. We also coordinate with agencies like the Twin Falls School District. In cooperation with the Twin Falls School District, CSI Refugee Programs participates in adjustment opportunities for school-aged children through the district-created Newcomers Centers. These centers help children transition to their regular local school. The centers provide adjustment basics for classroom behavior, socialization, and the acquisition of basic vocabulary. In the summer, we provide a refugee summer school for children that have arrived during the previous months, but have not been able to attend regular public school because of late entry. This school is provided with volunteers from throughout the community. There are a range of other classes and programs throughout the year which provide opportunities for refugees to gain information and participate in community activities. St. Luke's provides maternity classes for ladies that are expecting. Garden plots are provided and supervised by the Master Gardeners Club during the summer. Each summer, a refugee day is sponsored by the Refugee Center and presented by refugee groups which have arrived in Twin Falls during the recent past. The event provides opportunities for the community and refugees to share part of their culture through ethnic food and entertainment. It is an opportunity for the center and the refugees to say thank you for all of the volunteer time, donations, and support provided during the year. You are welcome to visit the Refugee Center at 1526 Highland Avenue East, or check out our website, www.refugeecenter.csi.edu.